Hello and welcome back to part four of our river pump build and test. In part three, we plopped this in the water and realized that the swivel from Lowe's was not cutting it. As soon as it was uh, cinched down, it no longer swiveled. And if it was too loose, water would leak out. So my uh, friend and subscriber, Ed, sent me a link to some pretty awesome swivels. Um, swivel joints is what they're called. Uh, a little out of my price range. So I kept searching. Uh, thanks for that, by the way. Um, I found this guy, website called Super Clean, spelled with a K. Uh, I sent them an email and said, hey, do your uh, swivels swivel when tightened down? And got a response back that said, yes. So I found this on Amazon uh, for $23 plus shipping and tax. And uh, let me show it to you real quick. It came with a washer. And at first I picked it up and I'm like, okay, uh, the, your hose tightens into this metal piece here and then it locks down. No good. But then I got to looking at it and there is actually a second swivel in this piece. Um, I don't know if I can make it work or not. Yeah, there it goes. So I'm holding this tight and swiveling this other piece here. Uh, so I was thinking we attach this into here and then uh, give it a try. So we'll take this uh, garden hose swivel off here. I was just stopped by the wildlife guy, wanting to make sure I wasn't uh, fishing illegally down here. He seemed quite interested in the pump, so uh, kind of look forward. To, yeah, getting this thing in the water. Yeah, I think we're gonna see some results with this thing. Now we're talking. Check that out. Tight and swiveling at the same time. I think we're ready to plop this in the water and give it a try. So just like all of our previous tests. I've got the uh, garden hose wrapped around this little stump and it's going to come down here and be plopped in the water. Now I wanted to point out that at some point I'd like to swap this around if it works because this ring would be amazing for a cable to get the uh, weight off of the hose here. Let's plop this in the water and see if it works. Okay. Seems to be swiveling quite smoothly right now. Tip it tip that rock. Let me pull it up some. Man, that thing is moving far faster than it was previously. Well, that's the best swivel action we've had so far, but uh, it keeps coming apart right here at the top. So I believe I'm going to be gluing that now. I'll see if I have some cement in the car and we'll get back to this test. I have the pump anchored off and it seems to be um, holding pretty steady in there. So I'm just gonna let it uh, run for a few minutes and we'll see if we get water out the top up here. That swivel seems to be working quite well though. Uh -oh. I let the pump sit for a while and spin and spin and uh, never did reach water out the end of the uh, hose so I thought what I would do is unhook this and see uh, just how much water we got. So there could have still been a leak, I suppose, uh, on that new thread we put in there. So I'm just going to run this through and see if we get water up the other end here. Uh, 
That's disappointing. There must still be a leak somewhere in our system, either in that PVC thread or uh, somewhere. I may test this out, uh, our new swivel on a garden hose uh, from the house and just see if it has a leak. So uh, let me go try that out. So it turns out there was a lot more water in the hose than I was expecting. Whenever I went to put it back in the car, uh, a lot came out. I'd say maybe half gallon or so. Um, so I believe the swivel is working and uh, I think the main problem that's keeping the, uh, the flow down is the structure I've used to build the whole pump. So I think it's time to go back to the drawing board. Um, and that's where I need your help. Uh, the PVC was kind of my main idea. And it's just not big enough. I went back and looked at the, uh, the ones you can buy, the really expensive river pumps. And they're huge, like, uh, I don't know, two foot maybe um, diameter. Maybe not quite that big. But, um, so I was thinking either make a frame out of smaller PVC pipe around something that floats or um, buckets. But if you drill into buckets, of course, you're going to make them uh, leak. So uh, the propeller on the front seems to turn this design really well, maybe even too fast. So um, somehow I think we can stay with the same blade size or maybe just a little bit longer would be good. So if you have any ideas of how to improve this design, oh, the reason I was thinking about making a bigger um, case is because uh, I noticed that the air that was being gulped was only like a couple inches, whereas the water was you know, a lot. So it's not quite gulping enough air. And so it's not being able to uh, compress that and push it up. Anyway, thanks for watching. Do uh, comment below your ideas. I'm Seth Johnson with Landa House, and I will see you next time. Bye.